Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed like I, uh, I think I almost promised, a classical festive Christmassy makeup look. I could wear this uh, definitely. This is just so classical, nothing different about it, but classic festive Christmassy makeup tutorial. Red lips, um, which is the shade that it's very appropriate to Christmas and gold eye makeup with, of course, gold glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? And very great base, very nice filming. Uh, for a long time, I haven't filmed uh, start to finish looks well, where I do all of my makeup on camera film while filming. And uh, it was so nice creating this. This is one of my favorite looks. I have done this. Uh, a couple of times when I want to be very classical looking but of course I change the lip sometimes different kind of a red you can do anything with this eye look I think but I love reds with this because gold and red is perfect combination but if you want to know how I achieved this look please continue watching bye so let's start the tutorial by uh, concealing any redness and veins and priming my eyelids. This method is so nice. I don't know how I did my makeup before I learned to prime and conceal my eyelids first before I shadows. It will blend seamlessly afterwards, especially when you have set it. And I use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for setting my eyes. These powders are so creamy and pigmented. A little goes a long way. Then I took Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and I think this is the creme brulee, yes, I forgot. Just lightly to the crease. This will help uh, as I move along with this eye look. After that I grabbed Desert Sands by Makeup Geek also. It's so nice mustardy color. I use it constantly and it, il it is uh, warming up the crease so, so nicely. That's why I use it. I love it very much. So, so nice color. I want this to show a little more because the warmth uh, is great that it gives. Then I took Cocoa Pear, also by the same brand. And this is so great brownish, reddish, warmish, nice color. How can I explain? And I grabbed another Morphe brush, a little denser. I wanted this to go to the crease area more and not too high because I'm almost like cutting the crease a little, just a tiny bit with the gold shadow that I will put. Then I blended everything with chickadee up in the crease. This is a great method also. This shade is so nice for this purpose. I just tried my best. Then the star of the show is is Magic Act by Makeup Geek, which is their foiled line. I love this shadow. I have a good dense or dent, I'm sorry, dent in it. It is starting to show the bottom already. I have used it several, several times. It is perfect gold, not too party gold, not too, not too blend gold, just perfect, perfect combination of of goodness in a shadow and uh, I could wet my brush but I didn't today because I will top it off with glitter then I decided to go with dark brown to the outer corner because I didn't want this to be too light look this will help it to smoke out a little especially when I'm going in with eyeliner also today winged eyeliner this will help help the look to be combined. I like 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 this color. It's so great color. I don't know what's this is Anastasia Beverly Hills fudge. It's so good brown. It's not too cool, but it is definitely not a warm brown. And it blends so easily. Then I'm almost like placing it as a wing shape. And uh it's not so important how it looks, like you see. Then I took the poppy shade, which I um, think it's so nice for every look to 
blend out the edges and give more warmth to the outer corner and this will this is so great combination with uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills fudge I always use them together then the exciting part is uh, doing my wing eyeliner in front of the camera which is not my specialty because I don't have a uh, good equipment yet so it's so hard to do this in front of the camera but sometimes I just have to try it out because I want you to see how I do it I'm just tapping and wiping or how would you say drawing it drawing and tapping because I want to be careful because if I mess my eyeliner the whole look is is complete mess I'm trying to be very careful I want this to be very sharp I and a little longer than usual then after that the exciting part is the glitter I used Urban DK heavy metal glitter 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 liner get it together oh glitter liner in midnight cowboy and I want to put generous amount and focusing it goes to the crease nicely and blending it away a little to the outer corners I don't want it to go all the way in then I took the L'Oreal voluminous mascara it's a basic mascara it's not bad it's not super good but I'm using it it is quite good I just lightly put to my lashes and after that I went in with House of Lashes Noir Fairy Lights and the House of Lashes Lash Glue which is the best ever these lashes weren't so good as I remembered mm, I love the Iconic Lights so much more these were too stiff maybe they will soften up a little when I use them more then I primed my eyes with YSL Blur Primer which is a good primer it will give you a nice glow and with this vanish stick uh, foundation by hourglass they are a good combination together they make a perfect base and this foundation stick is perfect because it will conceal your under eyes if you want it is a, a concealer as well if, if you would like to use it as a concealer it is so good foundation and it blends easily you don't have to blend too much it's just so perfect I think so this is my second tube I was uh, waiting to get a new one and now I have it I'm so happy then I used heart shape tape to uh, highlight my face a little under eyes I wanted to put generous amount because this is a Christmas look so you can go overboard you, you definitely deserve look your best at Christmas day and especially uh, if you are hosting or something you want you you can look like a Barbie doll I don't care like I am going to do in my uh, our family foods everything and have our children all children back at home celebrating the Christmas times together it's my favorite season ever this is the Morphe E8 brush which I'm using it is nice because it is get giving you a full coverage under your eyes then I took Kat Von D shade and light palette, the lighters, two lighter shades, and uh, set it my under eyes and T zone. This is how I do it every time, like I do with Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder and Mac Emphasize. I use these the same. Then I uh, wanted to set the rest of my face with Mac Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium. And contoured my face with shade and light palette the middle shade it is so nice warm brown shade and it is so uh, amazing how these powders are because I put a little too much to the other side but I wasn't worried because I knew I could blend it out and it is amazing because sometimes you could ruin the whole face makeup by applying too much but not with these powders these are so great and this brush, I don't remember, is it the R13 or... I'm sorry, I don't remember, but this is very... By Morphe, this is very tiny and good shape. So I can finally cut my cheeks how I like them to be cut. Then I put Desert Sands by Makeup Geek again. <laughs> the same that I used as my crease color. I put it to my lower lash line 
and went in with cocoa bear to give my under eyes a little warmth or the under eye uh, lid area and blended it out with chickadee and th these are so good colors in your lower lash line I think so nice it will give the look a combined warm nice look and your eyes will look so great especially when I have uh, green eyes this kind of a warmish reddish orange shade will look so nice then I put this uh, Maybelline gel eyeliner very closely to the lash line I wanted to line my lash line very precisely for this look because when I will use my white eye pencil to brighten my eyes this will give my eyes so good looks like they will how can I explain open up more and be more rounded when I have put black eye pencil or a black eyeliner to my lash line to the lower lash line then I added the Urban Decay Clear Liner to the inner corners of my eyes and carefully blended it out to the lower lash line I love love glitter especially during holiday season it is so great I put mascara on my lower lash line just quickly a few coats I put and uh, this will open up your eyes even more I don't know what I'm doing with my head I'm always moving it while I go but everyone has their own habits with makeup then when I thought of what uh, could be the wintry blush highlighter combination of course I grabbed the Becca Aperski Glow Face Palette because it is designed to be wintry and it really is I put the blush from the palette and topped it, topped it off with blushed copper also just lightly blushed copper because it is so pigmented so you don't want to put too much especially when you are light skin colored like I am then I cleaned the edges with uh, Kat Von D uh, powders and uh, this will help the look look more natural not too much blush on then I took the darkest shade from the palette and uh, put it carefully to the cheek area like you can see I don't go too inwards to the face this will cut my cheeks even more I love this this method so much this you have to do before before highlighter and after blush this is my this is my thing how I do it then I'm blending the edges again with the Kat Von D powders because I was maybe being too heavy-handed and wetted my brush with MAC Fix Plus and took the highlighter shades from the palette the Rose Quartz and Opal I think they are called and because I wanted to be even more wintry I took the white uh, highlighter from the palette also to the high points of my cheek it didn't show up as well on the camera as in person but it will give you more frosty finish which I loved for, for this look because it is a wintry look so I wanted to look wintry and frosty and like I have been outside the whole day then I blended the edges a little with Kat Von D the lightest powder from the palette the first one and put nylon to my brow bone and topped the whole look with Red Room by Jeffree Star and the look is complete I just put a little fix plus and I think it turned out so nice so classical like I was planning it to be but thank you very much for watching we'll see you guys soon